week two is done and that went loads better than last week not easier I just felt I was moving well and the body felt loads better as I put it under stress hopefully your week went well maybe you had a race let me know in the comments below anyway thanks for joining me again and if you're new to this channel oh 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 if you're new to this channel thanks for checking out my Lakeland 100 training vlog this is my third vlog so if you like it yeah maybe check out some of the other vlogs they'll keep popping up in the links above if you like all the details then stick around to the very end I'll go through all the totals the volume the time on feet the elevation for the week also I'll jump on the scales and weigh myself and check my body fat sleep score so yeah if you like all those details then stick around to the end Monday super easy start of the week just a loop of the village no dramas but what I have noticed is uh, since we've rolled into September the weather has definitely uh, taken a downward trend as far as the temperatures are concerned the rain and we're very breezy too Tuesday and we started off with a super easy run of the village about 40 minutes so no dramas just Rex and I taking in the early miles I absolutely loved it later in the day Robbo and I went out for I love this run 20 20 20 you can break it down actually you can do 5k 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 obviously it takes longer depending on the, your speed I suppose but I do a 20 20 20 easy um, I know there's a lot of kind of debate about how you break up your zones but for me I've got five four five zones actually um, so I do 20 minutes at easy, 20 minutes at aerobic and then 20 minutes at that threshold pace no rest in between you're just kind of moving up through the gears absolutely yeah I absolutely love this run especially with company it's really good especially that last 20 minutes you know if you've got a group of you you can have a bit of a smack down if you've got anything left in your legs awesome run yeah Robbo and I had a great time all in all that was like a nine and a half mile run on top of the miles in the morning too so yeah Tuesday was a big big day run to the hills podcast yeah we've been super busy lately actually um multiple interviews a week and we have banked quite a few so Eddie and I decided just for us to to record the show this week and use some of our banked episodes so yeah don't worry it's not just going to be an hour and a half of Eddie and I chattering away there will still be interviews my goodness me I think we've got about four um bank for future content so yeah super busy lately but it was nice this week just to rein it in a bit and just record the show but what was really interesting I was doing some maths and I kind of look at the weekly charts and where other podcasts are we do quite well in the UK running podcast charts are uh, always kind of roughly about the top five and there's a few big podcasts ahead of us so we don't have the resources they have but what I did just it's like a penny drop moment there was no other trail running podcasts in that chart some awesome ones out there um, but they weren't charting like we consistently do so I have to say we are probably the number one UK trail running podcast in the country you know and that's thanks mainly to you guys for tuning in every week and downloading the show so yeah super big thanks Wednesday was a single run day just about 40 minutes around the village and oh my I needed that my legs were still trashed after Tuesday run so yeah single run around the village about 50 minutes nice that is always a big day but it starts with a run commute so that is a nice easy start to the day and then in the evening we do the TTT I thought I'd just keep it simple again and we did the fartlek very similar to what we did last week actually but I added an extra hill uh, so there was four of us one two three four oh goodness me four of us out on Thursday yeah fartlek down the Dean that was pretty awesome I love Thursday it's nice to go for a chat afterwards so that is good I had a coffee and I've really been good with the nutrition lately the alcohol and the nutrition I don't remember the last time I had any alcohol uh, and although I am having a few treats I'm not binge treating so very very good pretty focused so happy with that moving on Friday oh my goodness I was pretty stressed out on Friday I did the, just a short run commute in the morning because I thought I was going to do something longer in the afternoon not big though still you know it's still a recovery uh, or an easy day but something came up and I just couldn't find the time to do it 
I'm not gonna lie, mentally I didn't handle it that well. I was pretty, pretty annoyed. Uh, for the day when I knew how it was panning out, I did get two runs done still though, just two short runs, so better than nothing. And um, yeah, just the way it is, frustrated. Still managed to get two short runs done, so something is better than nothing. I, just, I didn't just bin the day off out of frustration. Um, chuck my toys out the pram. I didn't do that, so I'm pleased. I got something done, got out the door. <sighs> yeah, moving on. Saturday, six times five minutes. Oh my goodness me, that is a big session. That's 30 minutes of effort, and it's gonna be in threshold pace. Going forward, I might drop this third quality run, this third speed run, but for now, while I'm not doing back-to-back -back long runs, I'm gonna keep going with it. It's typical, I put it off and put it off and put it off, but now it's got to be done. I've had a big lunch, which was not a good move. Pretty sure that might be uh, making an appearance later on during the run, fingers crossed it doesn't. But yeah, put it off and now it's drizzly, it's a bit breezy, it's just not a very nice day. But this is my exercise slot, so I just have to get on with it. Oh, that was minging. <laughs> but it's done. Uh, no toilet malfunction, so that was awesome. Yeah, so six times, uh, five minutes, threshold pace um, with a minute recovery. Awesome, you know, and this is dreadful weather. It's not dreadful weather, that's over the reaction. But it's so important you get out on days like this. If you're training for an event, you cannot guarantee a nice, cool breeze and blue skies on race day. So I think if you swerve days like today, you're really setting yourself up for a high risk of failure on the day of the race. Last work out of Saturday. I've not done it yet. <laughs> so fingers crossed I do it. Will be my upper body routine over on YouTube on Fitness Blender. Um, yeah, just following along there with their upper body routine. And I'll take Rex out later too. So all in all, a pretty, pretty full on day. Big walk in the morning with the dog and George doing loads of errands. Um, big, big workout, 30 minutes of effort. Another dog walk and upper body. So I've got a long run. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be pooped. Sunday, and that could only mean one thing, long run day. And today we did 16 miles down the old river lines, up the course, and then up through the Dean again, all in heart rate zone two, so super easy. And that's a relief because after yesterday's session, I really didn't fancy anything, say marathon specific or anything like that. Just nice, dreamy miles, Rex and I had a blast. What I have noticed about four times now, my Garmin device will update my maximum heart rate after a run. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. It's something I've never ever noticed before. Um, and then that obviously adjusts all the heart rate zones. Like I said, I've never noticed it before, but if there is anybody who's watching who really geeks out on Garmin, or maybe they work for Garmin and can explain why this happens, how it works it out, and why it's happening now, it's not something I've ever really noticed before. It's only since this new um, training block, so I'm not too sure if I've just unwittingly pressed something, or there's an update that I'm not aware of. But yeah, it keeps updating my heart rate, maximum heart rate, sorry. And I'd just like to know a bit more about it, why it's doing it, um, and how it gets that information. That would be awesome. So yeah, anybody watching this um, upload, reach out in the comments below. That'll be great. Thanks for watching so far into the video. And if you're still with us, I think it's safe to say you must kind of like what we are doing. So if you do, you might want to check out some other videos. Links kind of keep popping up from time to time. More training stuff, kit reviews, tutorials, all connected to the outdoors and running. So yeah, check those out. I know you can't wait to find out what my sleep score is for the week, but yeah, if you like that and you like the other details, the total time on feet, the elevation gain, the miles covered, my weight, my body fat, all those details. Stick around because they're coming up. Yeah, let's go through the totals. All combined, running and walking was 71 miles for the week. So the exercise time for the week was 16 hours. Now that's pretty good. Early part of the training plan. So I'll take that, yeah, 16 hours. My weight had gone up slightly to 130 pounds. And like I said the other week, I'm not going to pay much attention to specific numbers, but I'll keep an eye on the line. I don't want it to go up too steep 
or down too steep but yeah for what it's worth 130 pounds body fat for the week is 14.2 percent i don't even know if that's good or bad um totally arbitrary for me i look in the mirror i perfectly happy with what i see looking back at me but for a number's sake yeah 14.2 i like with the weight i don't latch on to a specific number but if um all of a sudden i saw a trend with the fat or the weight i'm um, going up or down then yeah i'd probably pay more attention to it sleep score generally the week's been really good again um average amount of sleep time was about eight hours i'm really conscious about getting to bed kind of start having the wind down about nine o'clock um so that is pretty good but for some reason yeah tuesday i had a shocker of a sleep uh according to the uh garmin app how it tracks the sleep i'm not 100 percent sure of the, the details of it but yeah tuesday's score was 62 percent on the sleep but everything else was varying from excellent to good so again for the whole week i've got to say yeah i don't feel like fatigued during the day or later part of the day so yeah sleep score thumbs up so that's another week done I have to say for me it's been really good um, all the workouts done all the strength and conditioning done the body's holding up okay so yeah I cannot come play and let me know how you got on training racing whatever I really enjoyed all the comments from the previous two uh, uploads and I try my best as always to reply to them all yeah let me know if you are still watching now then thanks very much you are the die hard few who steer to the bitter end um, and if you do enjoy the content really appreciate a like share and subscribe it really helps the channel loads as far as getting in front of the right people feedback you know do you want to see more wrecks um less wrecks more of me less of me more scenery more drawn um less of all of that it's all a bit of a puzzle to me and i it'd be great to make content that you guys want to watch so yeah any feedback will be greatly received and a massive help for this channel going forward all right i think i've waffled on way too much again you take care see you all next week